make no mistake about it, like the first noble truth of Buddhism, life is suffering. This is true. And it's worse than that because it's suffering contaminated by malevolence. That's the baseline. But the optimistic part is that you are so damn tough, you can actually not only deal with that, you can improve it. Let those challenges raise you up. Let them elevate you. Let their demands and their trials make you stronger. Let the adversity you face today turn you into a better person tomorrow. And where are you going? You look at your life. You look at what you produce. Is it giving you what you want? Are you living on purpose? Are you living your dream? Are you acting on your ideas? Are you doing all you can do? Have you gotten comfortable? Are you procrastinating? Are you invading your own greatness? Are you surrounding yourself with people that can nourish you? Are you challenging yourself? Are you experimenting? Are you learning something different? See, life is 10% of what happens to you. It's 90% what you do about it. You will not crumble in the midst of crisis. You may be neck deep in what seems to be a catastrophic storm of chaos, but I pray that in this moment, you will find the calm, the peace, the hope, the faith, the courage, the expectancy you need to live and not die, to move up and not stay where you are. You get what you see. That I'm fighting. I'm always fighting. I'm struggling and I'm scrapping. And I'm kicking and clawing at those weaknesses to change them.